Hey guys, so we are in Walmart. Hope you guys are having an amazing weekend. Um, we gonna go ahead and show you guys just a bit of these prices today. And we're gonna be looking at the stock as well. So I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so this is what the salad section is looking like. For a bag of salad, um, here it's 148 and it's a small bag. I did notice that the produce section is kind of gapped up but for some apples here it's a dollar 77 per pound this is just what some of the apples pears and things are looking like um but this bag of pears down here it's four dollars and 67 cent and it's a three pound bag it's a three pound bag and it's four dollars and 67 cent Right, guys so more of the fruits and vegetables and things like that um oh that's a big bag of carrots y'all it's really big i never seen these big ones here it's three dollars and 44 cents i do need some sweet peppers so i'm gonna grab that the sweet peppers for the small bag is two dollars and 98 cents the bananas seem to be 53 cents a pound. But it seems like they have a reduction and it's down to 50 cents a pound. No bananas? Okay. Yeah, so. There's a banana. This is what the bread out is looking like. Let me go ahead and show y'all the cheapest bread. Great value Texas toast will be $1.67, but they don't have any. Um, let's see. Not just a honey wheat. Just looking for the prices. The prices be hidden on some of this stuff, y'all. Okay, here we go. Great value wheat bread is 67 cents. Uh-oh. So you can definitely make a meal. Get some of those 67 cent bread and some lunch meat and some cheese and you good. The stock is coming back a little bit. It looked way better than the last time that we came. But just to show you guys the price, the price of this Jimmy Dean is $9.68. Now that is expensive. Something like that, yes, I will go ahead and consider making myself or I will buy the off-brand. Now the off-brand breakfast sandwiches that's frozen is $3.28 compared to $9 and change. But here's the stock of that, guys. Also, now the breakfast foods was much better than like the lunch and dinner um, frozen foods. These definitely have low stocks, but these traditional, not tra yeah, traditional um, one serving pizzas is $3.50 for one. But that's what it's looking like, guys. bit more of the infinite these alfredo pastas are still a dollar not bad not much of them but they are still one dollar these also the boxes here they're still one dollar as well If you want to compare the prices to the name brand, this 98 cent for some raviolis compared to 60 cents for the off brand, which is the great value. So it's totally up to what you like, but if you want to save money, you can definitely look into the off brand. This owl with the condiments is looking a little, you know, gap, but let's go ahead and check the price of the ketchup. So for this ketchup, it's $2.78 because you can't go wrong with the condiments. And I'm just trying to find the price of the great value um, ketchup. But once again, I do not see it. 90 cents for, oh, here it is. So 90 cents for one of these great value ketchups. Not bad. But this is what it's looking like. Also, if you're looking to stock up on instant mashed potatoes, these are also still $1. 
it's not much less in this store that I'm at in particular, but maybe in your stores, it will still be a dollar or so. But definitely, um, it's a great item to add to the pantry. Like I said, for one buck, let's see. Oh, but it doesn't have a good shelf life. It expires 2022, but you can use a lot of items after the expiry date. Um, since we are here, let's look at the bean owl, the dry bean owl, the rice, and things like that. Also, low at stop. These are the dry beans, guys. That's it. That is left of the dry beans. That and this. So it's a dollar eighteen for the baby llama. No, it's not. It's a dollar forty-two for the baby llama beans. This one is not here, so it's a dollar forty-two. And then for the black beans, it's one dollar and twenty-four cents, and then a dollar eighty-eight for the split peas. But it's pretty empty down this aisle overall. Just to let you guys know. So if you're looking for me in this Walmart at least, um, I did tell you guys in one of my videos that there's a major meat shortage hitting up on my part of New Jersey. And it's definitely since the last time I came back came here, it's not getting any better. This is what they have left of the red meat at least. I don't know what this is. Let me see. Honeycomb beef tripe. It's $13.71. But it varies by the way. Let's see how much some ground beef is, guys. We don't use ground beef, we use ground turkey, but I'm curious to, oh, look at this big one here. Keep refrigerated. That thing is, it's a 10 pound, okay. And it's $26.62. And for the really, really small one, for the one pound, it's $3.88. But this owl, oh, wow. So I found some ribs, rib tips, just to get the price. It's $13.56 for this pack here. So this is what the chicken and ground turkey is looking like. Let's see how much their chicken is. I was going to see how much their chicken is, but they didn't really have any. But this is what supposed to contain the frozen chicken. But there is none on each side. For the packages of tuna, for the Starkist, it's a dollar twenty-four. But I think I recently went over that um, in my last video. If you guys was doing a, if you guys watched the um, emergency food prep items, I have the prices of these in that video. So if you're interested in watching that video, go ahead. It'll be linked right above right now, so you guys can check that out. But this is what the tuna fish is looking like. The salmon, cans of chicken, all of that. So for one of these tunas here, it's $6.74. That look like it's, yep, the four pack of bumblebee here. Wow. The ramen is still 42 cents. It did go up from maybe a year ago, but it's still 42 cents at the plate. Take a look at this pasta. Wow. I'm telling you guys, it's getting worse. Worse and worse and worse. These are the cans of soup, guys. Um, the prices vary, but for the most part, I see a lot of this is 148. So this is the cream of mushroom. 76 cents for the great value condensed soup. Chicken soup. Um, and that is pretty much the basic price so anywhere between 76 cents and two bucks for cans of soup depending on the brand that you like this is what the sugar is looking like and it looks like the sugar is two bucks and change it's covered let's see it's two dollars and eight cents for a four pound bag of sugar Right. So for a thing of vinegar, it's $2.67 for a gallon. Um, if you are prepping 
for anything or even just for regular household items i do recommend getting some kind of vinegar because you can also use vinegar for cleaning and this is what our oil is looking like for one gallon of vegetable oil great value brand oh they coming up it's seven dollars and 82 cents for some vegetable oil compared to the canola oil you actually been low on stock lately and that is seven dollars and fifty six cents for one gallon of canola oil pancake mix and syrup have not been doing too good neither all right so the shrimp used to be nine dollars and ninety eight cents it went up to twelve dollars and ninety two cents as you can see people in here are looking through their options of what they can buy in the meat area so this is what the pop tarts are looking like guys these cliff bars are 11 dollars and 28 cents for a 12 pack i never bought these before maybe because how expensive they are but wow um so these are what the oats are looking like the single packages of oatmeal grits at the bottom there let's just see how much a box of this oatmeal is for the 20 count it's 512 for the Quaker oats not bad glimpse of what the cereal is like so these are the waters guys they have these, the 40 pack down to $4.38. Um, they don't have it posted here, but I did see it online. And these are like two bucks and chain for the 24 pack. But this is what the water is looking like. Well, at least for the gallons of water up there, they're 98 cents. That's the great value brand. All right guys, so we found some chicken breasts. It's $1.28 a pound. And for a pack, it seems like it's going for anywhere between seven bucks and ten bucks. So that's about eight, ten. Nothing lower than seven bucks. This is a family pack of chicken breasts. This is what the bacon is supposed to be looking like. The bacon and the sausages, hot dogs, working on cleaning products. Um. Oh, I can see to the back. They do have items, though. Oh, all that water. And this is just what the lunch meat is looking like. Let's get some of those prices as well, guys. Five forty-eight, and this is ham, chicken breast, same price, and the Hillshire Farm. Five sixty-eight. All right. The so I think most of everyone know that there's a cream cheese shortage, and if you don't know, now you know. Um, let's see. It's a dollar sixty-two. Is that a two-pack of cream cheese? Yeah, for a two-pack of great value cream cheese is one dollar and sixty-two cents. And three dollars and eighty-four cents for the Philadelphia two-pack cream cheese. Me personally, I will go with the great value. Come on! All right. So for the tea lovers, <clears throat> there's a different variety of teas. It's also at a low stock, but you can pay anywhere between two bucks to the highest I'm seeing is close to four dollars. Um, so let's just point one out. So for this Limpton Green Tea 40 pack, it's three dollars and forty-eight cents. For the lowest one, oh, they have an Energy Tea. It's a 12 count for two dollars and fifty cent, and a dollar twenty-four for some probiotic tea. Okay. All right. So as far as with the orange juices, they don't really have any. They got a few that's just sitting there. Um, the eggs they are going up in price but it's the same but you guys can see in the back there's items it's four dollars and 94 cents for two pack of 18 pack eggs so it's 36 eggs 
and the whole carton. Um, and then the box of eggs, they shot up to $8.15. It used to be $6 and change. All right, so this is the milk area. They don't have many to choose from. So I'm just gonna show you guys what I see here. And once again, it's not in the right area for the price. And that's okay. So for some almond milk, great value, which used to be a dollar and change. It shot up to two bucks. And this is the unsweetened vanilla and the original unsweetened for two bucks. As far as you want, if you want paper plates and things, it's gonna be kind of hard to kind of get them because there's also a shortage on that. And as far as the cleaning supplies and the wipes and things, they're back low on that as well. So if you guys have not stocked up, make sure y'all go ahead and stock up on that. Um, but you guys get to see you know what we're looking like as far as for our cleaning products and things mm -hmm. so for the three pack of Clorox this is almost 10 bucks and then the four pack of the great value is nine dollars and 97 cents which isn't bad so I will get the nine dollars and 97 cent four pack I have been wanting to stock up on air freshener but maybe I need to just check out another store because every time I come to Walmart, this is what it looked like. But their air fresheners are usually like a buck. But they don't have any. All right guys, so this is what the detergent is looking like for. All right. So for the Tide at least, this is nine dollars which is the yellow one nine dollars and 44 cents which is not bad but that's what it's looking like right, guys, so the price of diapers if you're looking about a box I feel like it's 120 in there it's 37 dollars and 78 cents um and also for the bags they went up to nine dollars and 12 cent for one bag of diapers and then for the little movers is nine dollars and 48 cents but that's what the stock is looking like at least for the diapers as far as with certain toddler and baby clothes it's still a low stock they're probably waiting on a shipment but it's definitely still a low stock guys it is winter time might want to check your car batteries they got them in walmart the prices vary 79 bucks for a 24 f 54 bucks 139 bucks what's what's on here maya so it varies so they definitely have batteries at least stocked up at Walmart. From the Icer. It is winter time here in New Jersey. Um, it is four dollars and sixty cents. And they have some for two dollars and eighty-seven cents. Which would be the purple ones, which they're gone because they're two dollars and some change. And the pink one here is why would you do that, Maya? Get that near Maya. It's three dollars and thank you, seventy-eight cents. As far as with the razors, I never know how expensive they were. They are seven dollars and ninety-seven cents for a two-pack of this one here, which is by Vinius Gillette. Also, to get body wash, it is very limited. All right, guys. So for the toothpaste, um, I noticed that there have been a limited stock. On the toothpaste and we're going to go ahead and end this video here um if i have anything to add it's going to be at the end of the video i am looking for the double packs which i do not see that they have but this is what the stock is like for the toothpaste guys i mean it's here like you can come and pick up some toothpaste but like i said it's limited but they have a three pack here which is the Crest Plus for $6.97. Feminine products. 
and definitely stock up on that. That's another item that will be hitting with a um, high price spike. So if you're looking for pads, you can definitely, for $6.97, you can get the Always Maxi for $9.77. For a 50 pack, you can get the Always Ultra Thin. And then for $6.58, you can get the Equate. And that is 46 pads in there. This is just a look at some of the children's medicines. I love the children Valentine's Day packs are so cute. Well, this one is $12.98. If you, let me know if you guys celebrate Valentine's Day with your children. I think that is so cute, guys. So the baby formula, there we go. For a 21.1 ounce, it's $26. They have some for $35, depending on what kind. But that is what the stock looking like for the baby formula. I did not know that they sell parents' choice of baby formula for this big one here. The 21.5 ounce, it is only $13.98.